welcome to Powell Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how to set up for a banana pose from Yin Yoga. Let's get started. Let's come down onto the mat. Keep your knees bent and the soles of the feet on the floor. This will allow you to lift your hips and slightly shift them towards the right side of your body. Straighten the legs towards the left in the diagonal making sure that both hips stay squared on the floor. If the right hip lifted, then you shift it too far. So just shimmy your way back and make sure that both hips touch the floor. Bend your torso towards the left side of your body, creating a banana shape or a half moon shape. And if it's comfortable for your shoulders, bring them up overhead. Now you should already be feeling a bit of sensation into the right side of your body, maybe into your torso, your hip, your IT band, maybe even the hip flexors on the right side. So always make sure that whatever sensation of stretch you are feeling, stay at about a three or four in intensity. If that's quite enough intensity for you, this is where you will rest. If it's not quite enough just yet, or after you've been in the pose for a little while, you may play your edge a little bit by placing the right leg on top of the left. Now this variation will definitely increase the sensation. So always make sure that you are ready for it. And if you try it at the beginning and the sensations are too intense, go back to having both legs on the floor. Make sure you're not holding any tension on your glutes or your quads. So always do a body scan periodically while in the pose. Your breathing should always remain easy and flowy. And remember that this being a yoga pose, we strive to be in it for three to five minutes, which is why it's very important to take the poses little by little, variation by variation. It's important to honor your body where it is and not make it fold or bend to a degree that it's not quite ready to do so. Now, when you take this pose on the other side, you might find that it's a little bit easier to bend that way, or you might find that it's a little bit harder. So don't beat yourself up for it. As I said, always honor your body where it is. And the more you practice, the more it will get used to the shapes, and the more you will work through those layers of fascia. When you're ready to come out, as usual, do it very slowly. If you had the right leg on top of the left, take it down, bring your lower body back to center, then your upper body. Rest in Shavasana or the neutral pose of your choosing for 30 seconds or so before going on to the other side. Thank you for joining once again. We will see you on the next post.